This is Sylvia Farnstein, and I am on the air with Mike King. He is widening the lens of humanity, and I'm so happy to be a part of his journey. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mike Mike Premier Business Radio Program. I'm your host, Mike King. I appreciate you being here with us. This is part of the Mike King Business Media Network, ESPN Rich 106.1, International Business Group Radio, Saturdays, 10 a.m. in the East, as well as CW Richmond TV, uh, which is Wednesday and Friday, 5 a.m. That day we get up at that time because that's when the winners, well, no, that's when I get up, you know, it's like, but that's when I'm on TV. All righty, so uh, I'm, I am a business person. I keep my finger on the pulse of what's happening in Richmond on a business standpoint. The business standpoint, not the not the social side, because that means that I have to be out late at night. I'm, I'm more of the morning and the daytime person. All righty, so Morgan Fett is here. I go over to the Scott's Edition Business Association. That's what it's called? Scott's Edition Association. Okay. They, they, they talk about what's happening in Scott's Edition, the hot spot in town here. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much. All righty. So uh, really quickly, you're on the board of the association. Yes, a recent addition to the board of the Actors. Okay. Talk about, sell me Scott's edition. Yeah, sell you Scott's edition, up and coming. I mean, the neighborhood's been there since, I think, 1919, has a lot of rich history. And the Scott's Edition Association itself has put out a new website recently to feature a lot of the amenities and businesses, uh, bars, arcades that are coming up in the neighborhood and hoping to just kind of spread the word on things that are happening in the neighborhood. All righty. So let's tell us your journey. How do you, you're from Virginia Beach? Is from it? Virginia Beach. Uh, I was in Seattle for a while and then moved to Richmond about two years ago and have been in Scott's Edition since. All right. From the business standpoint, what do you do? I am a student at VCU studying philosophy of business in my mm. entre in entrepreneurship. Okay, so now let's get down to the uh, philosophy of business. Yes. I wear my sport jacket. No, I got a, I got my vest on today. My sport jacket is over in the corner. I am always talking about culture and business, the philosophy of business. The foundation of this program is that business can help society be better. You just talked, heard me talk about our sponsors and advertisers. Good friend Lori Jennings is over there. And what we do is she is a headhunter in the tech space, but she's a business owner who gets it. And that business can help society be better. Why are you studying the philosophy of business? Floor is yours. Yeah, absolutely. So I've worked in different industries from green energy to Canatech to food retail to technology and startups in Seattle. And I wanted to come back to school and get that, you know, formal vernacular and those systems down so I can take that interdisciplinary approach and go and help different businesses and people with ideas just get cool products and services out to um, the public. What's the philosophy of business? So is it dog eat dog or I don't, know, I don't even know if people say that anymore, but is it that or is everybody just out to get the money? Or do people, business owners, younger people in here, I go with the younger people thing again, do they have an understanding that business can help society be better? Well, I think my hope is that the, that we're moving towards the latter here, that the KPIs are in, you know, your people, your process, your policy, and instead of is the bottom line just about financials. That's it. What was your, so how did you get to that point? I mean, you know, it's like either that, well, here we go. But before people were just in business to make money and there are people who, okay, they understood it. But Richmond is a place where businesses and nonprofits and community groups kind of coexist because businesses are out there supporting groups and visions of people who have an idea. Yeah, I got here. I've seen so much consumerism happen and I was getting a little fed up with that. Because with the, the massive amount of consumerism, always having to replace something, always having to um, be able to sell the image of something new or something more exciting or the next thing instead of valuing the systems and the process that should be put in place, I kind of wanted to see how I could help change that lens. Mm. You know, that's why I have this radio show. Because that right there is a part, that's a successful business. Because flashes in the pan, people come and go. But really, sometimes it is more about the money and it is about seeing how your business can have an impact. 
when you came to Richmond, what do you think of the business scene here? At first, I wasn't very aware of what was going on, but when I looked a little deeper, pulled that on the open, if you will, there's a lot of infrastructure going into sports, tourism, entrepreneurship. Instead of these outside companies coming into Richmond for these big projects, people at the city want to support um, individuals and organizations in Richmond to do better and reach more people. And I found that very inspirational. And I think about this for a pivotal time where a lot of people are moving and we can capture that and hopefully rewrite the narrative. One of the things we always talk about the buzz, Scott's edition has the buzz. Uh, let's talk about, can businesses create buzz? I suppose they can, depending on how they reach their community and do they have true empathy of what they're doing. Um, and that doesn't always come out like right at the gate, but I think it's possible depending on you know the systems you have in place. Are you putting the correct systems in place up front instead of just following your trajectory or your end goal? Okay. How about VCU? What was the reason VCU? Um, my uncle has been in the Richmond area for a long time, and I was looking to finish my degree when I was living in Seattle, working with technology and startups. And um, so the business school looked really interesting. Moved here, applied on a whim, got in. And then deeper than that, I actually found the Da Vinci School and the Interdisciplinary Studies School or, uh, office. With there, there you go. Glory Jenny smiling over there. This is a, she teaches there. There you go. <laughs> Shout out to the movie, Dr. Westlake. The, the stuff that they do there is, is I mean, it's legendary. So we between them, we had uh, Dr. Graves who came in talking about all the things that happened over at VCU. What's the energy? And I talked to a lot of people. What is it about the energy? They all are dropping the VCU name. It's it's a cool place. It is something right in the middle of Richmond. Yeah, I think there's a lot of innovation going on over there right now. And the ability to say, hey, like this is what we found the picture was, but what if it's a little different? Or what if we brought another discipline in to look at this picture? Would we get a more holistic view of what we have going on? And I think that's maybe the buzz. It's a little refreshing, it's a little new. And I'm hoping that they continue to ride that way. There you go. So we had a friend in last week, Jenna, Jennifer Einhoff was in, and she talked about change. She's like, change is messy. When people think about, you know, an idea, the box thinkers, which I was for a long time, you know, it's like, it's hard for people who are in the box to, to deal with folks who are creative. You know, we want you to come with that idea. Form, package, ready to go. Check now, nah, change is messy. Mm -hmm. Change is messy and it's pushing boundaries and it's making people uncomfortable. All righty, Morgan, really quickly, how can people find you out there as well as um, Scott's Edition? Yeah, you can find me on LinkedIn, Morgan Fett from uh, LinkedIn. And then the Scott's Edition Association, you can go right on the website. You can check out some of our new pages that feature the businesses in Scott's Edition. Whole new fun website up. Um, enjoy it. There you go. Morgan's here. We'd like to thank you. For, you know, it's great meeting you going, going out there. That's what happens when you go out to the cool events. You meet people out there. On the mic with Mike, make sure you get over Scott's edition. It's like, it reminds me of being at Penn State with a college town. You know, it, it just looks like that on a Saturday afternoon. You know, if you're not used to that, it, it looks a little bit different. You know, bar tours and people just going from place to place and kind of like a not exactly in a stable list of positions, moving from place to place. On the mic of Mike, that's what we do here. We talk to the game changers. We got to run. Uh, we do. Let me see what we got here. Uh, oh, hello. I'm Louise Keep of the Whistle Stop Theater Company. You're listening to On the Mic with Mike. Cheers. All right. Yeah. Oh, make sure you go check out our good friends over in Ashland, right there, the center of the universe. Yeah, a lot of great things happening out there. So we got to go. On the mic with Mike. We'll talk to you soon.